Welcome again to Chai with Lakshmi. Today I'm getting a joyride on a Bullets carrier. And this looks like it's straight out of the 70s. What fun! It's even better than going around town in an auto rickshaw. Vijay Sharma, who put this beauty together, is also the proud designer of a bamboo bike, a trike and more. Here's a peek into his creativity. So, this is the tandem recumbent trike I made uh, after making the first recumbent trike. The recumbent uh, trike is basically, as you see, two wheels in the front which turn like a car and uh, one wheel in the back side. Uh, the idea of this is that both the uh, people uh, who are riding it has to ride in together and uh, not one person is allowed to rest at any given point of time. This is a seat I made using uh, old uh, car wheels and uh, the first sketch was made uh, uh, I think uh, when I was in the design institute but finally after like 8-9 years it is up and doing really well. I think it was uh, sometime 2009 that I made my first uh, bamboo bicycle. I had made uh, a tandem uh, trike and a single trike earlier and seeing my work uh, a friend of mine approached and asked me if I could make a bicycle using bamboo and I said well yeah why not I mean if people can make houses people can make furniture out of bamboo why can't we make a bicycle. So I took up the challenge and uh, I made the first bicycle and this is the one. This is the first prototype of the bamboo bicycle where of course we use the thinnest possible uh, bamboo which are not hollow because you know even I had a little bit of apprehension whether it will work or not but yeah. Uh, and then we used uh, uh, glass fiber and it worked well but it had some problem and the problem was that it was too flexible, like at higher speed uh, the bicycle would, uh, uh, the rear wheel would sway like a fish tail, you know. After the first prototype and we were working fine, I made the second prototype, which is this one. And apparently this uh, prototype was uh, tested at uh, TI Cycle Chennai. It has performed way beyond uh, my expectation and people, uh, R&D people at uh, TI cycle, it has to go through 100,000 100, cycles to be able to pass the test. But this particular frame went on for 250,000 cycles. That simply shows that for a flat road condition, you know, the bike cannot collapse. You know, The only part broke was the metal part. And I didn't want to take any chances that let's say if somebody wants to you know, possess the bike the entire, entire life, you know, as long as the bamboo survives, then let's make this part also much stronger. So what I did was like using a slightly thicker plates which are like a 6 cm thick laser cut and uh, of course it's much more sophisticated than earlier one because uh, this, these are like standard uh, dropouts which can have a quick release as well as different mounts of uh, gears uh, derailers as well. So what you find in normal all the uh, contemporary bikes these days. So this is a, a final bike like this frame is more of a, a hybrid frame I would say and uh, just by extending a bit you can accommodate slightly thicker uh, uh, wheel so it can be converted into uh, MTB as well. So this has been my journey so far in making bamboo bicycle. The finished product somewhat looks like this. You know, I mean, uh, since bamboo is a, a fibrous material, you have the possibility of like uh, staining it whichever color you want. You could like smoke it up and give this dark uh, color to it. So there are various possibilities with this material, and uh, people from uh, abroad have uh, inquired a lot about my bike. And uh, right now, I have. Uh, mm, supplied a few frames in Copenhagen and I'm just awaiting for the response and hopefully it's slowly going to turn into a small business where I would be supplying few frames regularly every month. Vijay, thanks so much for the factory tour. I hear that the band bike has evolved and you now even have a cargo mountain terrain version. Yeah. Can you tell me a bit about that? Well, uh, the 
Cargo mountain terrain was uh, developed for uh, this guy from uh, Italy who visited me. He is actually an uh, adventure bicyclist and uh, he <coughs> heard about me and uh, he said that he, he had plans of uh, traveling some distance in India, you know, and for that uh, uh, he wanted a bike made, you know, with all the possibility of having it, his uh, luggage, you know, kept with uh, him and all that. So I said, uh, okay, uh, I will do it. So it took some amount of time to, to be able to, uh, you know, get into it, but yeah, finally, uh, it was it was fantastic, you know, the way uh, uh, the whole bike came up, you know, and the geometry and the feel of the ride and everything, it was just perfect. And to me, I'm just a, a cycle maker, but for him, he's a cyclist, you know, he's an enthusiast about, uh, who loves cycling. Mm -hmm. So when he rode a cycle, you know, he felt really great that, you know, because he has never ridden a bamboo bike, you know, but when he rode it, he felt, yeah, you know, this is comfortable and it's a great feeling to ride a bamboo bike. That's good, that's good. Where did all this innovation begin? Did you study mechanics well, or design? No, uh, I studied design, yeah. Uh, my dad is a carpenter. So, my childhood, uh, you know, I spent a lot of time, uh, maybe all summers, you know, I spent working in my dad's workshop. Once I got into the design, uh, work, uh, design institute, it was, uh, um, I, I was like exposed to uh, other things as well, you know, like metal machineries and things like that. And uh, I spent a lot of time in the workshop rather than attending, uh, I think, uh, so-called uh, lectures of uh, visiting designers and things like that. Because I thought, uh, man, uh, I enjoyed being in the workshop, you know, and trying to explore machine, making out of those machines and all that. So, and I tried uh, always to give somebody mm -hmm. on anybody's birthday or whatever to make something by my hand and give it to them. What would your message be to someone who's trying something creative, eco-friendly and a little offbeat? If it is offbeat, I think uh, there are always hang-ups uh, in the beginning. Because it's not a mainstream. Mainstream is always easy, always predictable. So it's hard to garner support. Yeah. So I think you got to believe in yourself, and that's what I did. Uh, uh, the day I quit my job, <laughs> I feel uh, creativity uh, should not be uh, driven uh, constraints like uh, profits and all that. You should not be thinking about profits or anything in the initial period. Mm -hmm. There is going to be struggle, no doubt about it. Everything, you know, like a child when it starts walking, it struggles a lot, it falls, but one day it starts walking. Yeah, it's going to get going. Yeah, so, so going. that's how it is, you know, for everything I believe. You know, one of my faculty told me long ago that, you know, if you love your work, money will come. Yeah. So, yeah. you just got to believe in that. You don't have to follow money, you have to follow your passion and things will, you know, fall in places in no time. You won't even realize, you know. Now, you're actually an entrepreneur as well. Yeah. How do you balance your time and interest? Uh, so, from what I understand, the band bike and your other you know, creations do take a lot of your time. True. When we started doing mass production, you know, we had a lot of time in hand to, I would say, kill. And, uh, of course, I killed my time by making band bike or making my trikes and uh, working on my uh, own bike and things like that. So. That is what it is right now. And slowly I want to um, devote my time, you know, as much as possible. I, I don't say that I do it completely. Uh, I would like to devote that free time to doing something different, you know. And let's see uh, if we can make some difference to this world. Thanks very much, Vijay. Welcome, Lakshmi. For joining me on Channel Lakshmi. Um, how can people reach you? Is there a way they can uh, sort of keep in touch with what you're doing? Are well, there new designs you're working on? Well, they can, they can visit my blog, which is called uh, handcraftedbikes.blogspot.com and my email ID is uh, handcraftedbikes at gmail.com. You could just uh, shoot me a mail if you have any interest or inquiry or you want to know anything about me or um, things I'm working on, I would be most happy to reply. And of course, if you want to get yourself a band bike. Yeah, sure, why not? I'm yeah. always up for that. <laughs> So until the next episode of Chat with Lakshmi, try something creative.
and we'll see you soon.